time for another player profile and projection. Justin Wilson. That's who we're talking about today. Brought to you by DraftKings. It's Talking Yanks. My name's Jimmy. His name's Jake. Big baby David in the corner. Justin Wilson. I forgot he existed until like a couple seconds ago when I said, who are we doing? You guys said Justin Wilson. He hasn't showed up at camp yet as the time of recording this. Haven't like seen him in pinstripes. Haven't had a press conference. Haven't had like him talking to the media yet. Kind of the Yankees signed him. And then 10 days later, we found out how much the contract was for. And then I, I feel like that's the last I heard about him. So I'm excited. I just remembered we have Justin Wilson. The perfect Yankee. It's invisible. That's how the Yankees like him. Yeah, man. Uh, if you're not familiar, 33 and a half year old Justin Wilson, who uh, has spent some time cross town, Jim. He spent some time in town. Ooh. He pitched for the Yankees in 2015, 74 games to the tune of a 3-1 ERA. I think we'd take that. Uh, MLB veteran, nine years in the league, career 327, 480 appearances. Uh, he's done AL, he's done NL. Uh, he's been, the Yankees have eyed him for a while while having him. And, uh, yeah, man, and we just found out today. I, I think he's, as we record this, we just heard the Zach Britton news that he will be out for a while. So everyone in the bullpen just pecked up a little bit. Uh, and as a lefty, we'll we'll see what if that means more for Justin Wilson. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, man, I mean, an important guy in the bullpen. I mean, him and O'Day are the old veteran ads this year. And Justin Wilson's had a really good MLB career. Yeah, I know. He's not as sexy as you would think in that 2015 mm. team. Sure wasn't sexy, but they flipped Justin Wilson. They flipped Cervelli for Justin Wilson. Cervelli had a year and a half left on his contract. They traded him for Justin Wilson, who had three years left. They used him for one year in 2015. He was really good for the Yankees. Then they flipped him for Sessa and Chad Green, who now he will be joining them in the bullpen. Friends. I don't know if they're friends, they but are. it is interesting that they're all – they're all, like Chapman got traded for Glaber, and now they're on the same team. Justin Wilson got traded for Chad and Sessa. Now they're in the same bullpen. It's a lot of eyeing each other up and down. A lot of dancing. A lot of Cashman magic. Yeah, and I, I Archer think Archer in Glass now. Same team. Yeah. Wow. I think we're I, I think Yankee fans at this point, while they're listening to this, will have seen him. I, I think the bullpen guys, as we mentioned, we just heard the Zach Britton moves. I think a lot of the bullpen guys are expected to pitch tomorrow. Uh, so he should be on display soon But yeah, I mean, really interesting, man uh, This guy, the last full season, 2019 45 games, a 2.54 ERA Last year, 23 games, a 3.66 Again, reliever ERA you can only do so so much with But it's it's been pretty consistent throughout his career I mean, there's not a career that There's not a year that jumps out and is like Oh, he was bad that year Like, he has been Kind of the model of consistency that you don't see from a lot of relievers. Career-wise, he's pretty much split-proof. Um, OPS the same from both sides of the plate. In recent years, he has been better against lefties. So I don't know if that's something he's found. I don't know if that's a little bit of a smaller sample size. Uh, but definitely something interesting to track, especially as this year goes on with Darren O'Day, who we think will be employed as the Adovino type righty specialist guy throws sidewind. It's gross. Also, pretty good splits, but will be in there for righty spots. Will Justin Wilson just be straight up clean innings? Will he have to come in and be the fireman for tough lefties? Uh, what kind of role does he settle in with this bullpen? Yeah, I, I think. The Britain might change that. Britain yeah. was a lefty who was going to get the eighth inning, and now it's seeming like Britain will be out for a couple months, and if they take it easy, they maybe all-star break. Maybe right before the all-star break, um, late June, early July. I think April, May, Britain will be out for sure. So does Justin Wilson bump up? Does he become, like, does Chad go to eight and Wilson goes to seven? Uh, does he split it with O'Day and they just work the lanes there? Maybe. Um it's really interesting because I, I heard some of the, the guys in the bullpen talking about this today, not the Yankees bullpen, our John Boy Media bullpen, and they were saying, like, you know, Chad Green's never been a true, like, eighth-inning guy. Coming for the eighth, one, two, three, see you later. Like, mm -hmm. he's very much got the ability for that, but we've also, when we've talked about Chad Green, we kind of want him stretched out. We like that two-weapon Chad. 
does this kind of change Chad's outlook? Does this change the whole the whole bullpen's look out? Uh, and it kind of does. And I, at the same time, like we've kind of taken Zach Britton for granted. Uh, how good he's been And you know If Chapman's out Here's your closer A guy that's gotten Cy Young vote So uh, Not about Britain though This is about Justin Wilson And Yeah I mean You know Chapman Chad And then you've kind of got The righty lefty O'Day Wilson And uh, You know A whole lot of A whole lot of opportunity Is just open in the Yankees bullpen Yeah If you want to know a little bit About Justin Wilson's Pitch repertoire If you want to know What you're going to be watching Last year And the year before that He was basically A two pitch pitcher I'm very interested I'm pulling up videos Of the pitches now Because it's a fastball Four seam fastball Which is a straight fastball Basically And then a cut fastball Which Yankees fans Know very well Because of Mariano Which cuts into lefties So I'm guessing Jake That's a little bit why His splits have gotten better Against Lefties or wait, he's a lefty. No, reverse, yeah. He's a lefty, so it's cutting away from lefties. That's I would say we're guessing, but that's probably why he's had decent success against righties throughout his career. Yeah, is that he's got a good cut fastball. Maybe he's using that on the inside, like Canely used his changeup. Like it's coming at you know front hip, and then it's cutting into the zone, like Cece's cutter. Sure. Because now he, he really just throws those two pitches. I mean, last year, he threw the four-seam fastball 200 times and the cutter 130 times, and then he threw the slider and the sinker combined 17. So a two-pitch pitcher, uh, the, the four-seam fastball is his bread and butter. He throws that 57% of the time, and he generates 28% swing and misses from that pitch, which is pretty high for a fastball that you throw 60% of the time, it's not a spin rate fastball. Maybe it's a little hap, like he just knows where to place it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm very interested to, to see. The the Justin Wilson we saw in 2015, he was a three-pitch pitcher, so it's just a, it's kind of a different guy all around. Um, last year's cutter got hit hard, but I don't think it will this year. Yeah, and his uh, – so with the Mets in 2019, his last full season, which was a really good season, I mean, he finished the year um, – with a two five four ERA, so that's a really nice year out of the bullpen, uh, Jim. It's a game log that again would be a John Boy delight for you. Uh, in those, how many appearances? Uh, in forty five appearances, he only gave up runs eight times. Uh, forty five. So he had thirty th- uh, math pod thirty seven just straight up clean sheets. That's awesome. Did not give up a run. I like that. Uh, and there were no blowups, which, again, ERA ERA for relievers, that's kind of the difference maker. And, hey, you know, the the game he gave up two runs against Philly, if that turns into four runs, blah, 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 ERA relievers. Math, science. Uh-huh. Uh, what are those called? STEM. STEM. I don't think, I don't think he's a STEM guy. Never was. I have a... Uh... Why is this being so obnoxious? I'm trying to find uh, the cutter. I want to see the movement on the cutter. We want to see the cutter. Here's a little... It's Kurt Suzuki here. It's one fair. Couple of so it kind of just looks like a fastball there. Looks like a fastball for sure. These are all foul balls. All right, a called strike. We'll see the full movement. Looks like called it's in, strike. It's in that same at bat. But they're both... Like, the four-seam fastball is four miles per hour faster. If you look at this pitch mix, yeah. you'd be like, that shouldn't work. You're throwing a fastball and then another fastball just four miles per hour slower. It, it looks like there's not a lot of movement on it. I don't know. Pitching very the, very interested to see. Yeah, maybe maybe he'll have something to tell the kids. His um, pitch mix chart is, is pretty funny. Look at... Let me see this pitch mix chart you've been talking about. Look at this. So he... This is his sinker, so he didn't use it. His, th- his sinker was his third pitch, and then it was his second pitch, and then for one season, the sinker was his highest pitch, and then he just completely dropped it. So in 2016, it was his highest used pitch, and then 2017, gone. How about it, Justin Wilson? All right. Yeah, man, uh, that's interesting. So, I mean, expect to see a, a lot of heaters from Jay Will. Fastball heavy. And yeah, I think anytime you add a new guy to the Yankees, you know, it, it's going to be interesting. Is he a work fast guy? Does he work slow? Like that's that's going to determine a lot of our thoughts on Justin Wilson, which is kind of 
kind of funny, kind of ridiculous, but it's true. It's it's that feeling when a relief pitcher comes into a game. So I don't know. There's no reason to not believe in him. Do you, I, I think? I mean, the Britain being out kind of changes changes a little bit because if Britain wasn't out, which literally just happened right before we hit record, I think we'd be saying him and O'Day are going to split. Innings and lanes, and if it's lefty heavy, Justin Wilson would go in, and if it's not, blah blah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But now, like, is he going to get a shot to just be that guy? Everything's kind of up in the air a little the bit. The trust tree just got opened up. Uh, whether you're Johnny Lasagna, whether you're, you know, you wonder what the conversations are. Does Chad Green want that eighth inning? You know, that's that's kind of the bullpen hierarchy. That's you know, again, not a stem pod. But, you know, that's one spot away from being the closer. Like what that, does STEM stand for? Science. Science, technology, technology engineering, math. Engineering and oh math. Oh, my God. Yeah. We're not a STEM pod. Wow. I mean, math is one thing. And then to add science? I like technology a little bit. I mean, I'm out. You're on out on technology. Yeah. What's the E? Engineering. I mean, If you show me a video of how, like. science and math combined. Yeah, if you show me a video of how a bridge is built. I will find it interesting. Yeah, that's true. But that's all. You're not doing that, though. Bridges and buildings. Shout out Ken Burns' first documentary, All on the Brooklyn Bridge. That's a good watch. Amazon Prime. Go check it out. Bridges and buildings blow Man. my mind every day. Adam Eaton has good numbers against Justin Ooh, Wilson, so be careful. White Sox. Watch out for that. Jay Bruce doesn't have good numbers against I, uh I have Justin Wilson and Jay Bruce becoming lifelong friends. They've been teammates already, right? I don't think so. So I was checking that out. I thought they might have crossed paths on the Mets. I don't think they did. They did not, no. So I have them. They're both 33. They both had really nice MLB careers, and now they find themselves in the Yankees? (sighs) They're both lefties? Uh, They're going to be fast friends. Almost Like, like no doubt about that. Like they're significant others. I don't know if either of them have wives. Their significant others, as they eye the Yankees' uh-huh. wags, like have already scoped each other out. They're friends on Instagram. I promise you that. Jay Bruce uses Instagram? His significant other. Oh, yes. I, I, I have a baseball reference hides this really weird page they call the Oracle of Baseball. Have you ever Oracle seen this page? Oracle of Baseball, yes. You type in two players... And then you can see like a chain of teammates. Mm. Um, and who they chose here was Caleb Cotham. How do you say his name? He's the pitching coach in Philly now. Caleb Cotham. Catham? Cotham? What is it? I think it's Cotham. I think uh, it's Casey Kasem. He was Jay a long time Yankee farmhand. And then he played for one season. Now I think he's the Phillies pitching coach. Yeah. I was a farmer. Well, Jay Bruce played with uh, Caleb for the Reds and Caleb. Wilson. And Wilson played with him uh, for the Yankees. <laughs> so they can talk about that. We can find a new match, the Oracle of Baseball. Oracle no, that's the baseball. only oh, – let's exclude Caleb Cotham. Billy Hamilton. They both played with Billy Hamilton. Okay. Oh, yeah, you know Bill. You know Billy. And they both play with Todd Frazier. Oh, yeah. The Todd Fudd. So there you go. Do you want me to keep going? Because I think we can. No. Zach Rosscup. They both played with him. Could he, like, become the eighth inning guy for a little bit? Test him out. I think he'll probably revolve it. I know this kind of is unfair for Justin Wilson, but what do you think the Yanks are going to do with Chad for the first half of the season? Eighth inning guy? Yeah. Yeah. I'd do that. He deserves it. If that's what Chad wants, ask him. It's funny, like in Adam Adovino's conversations, uh, and Adam Adovino on the GM files, uh, they asked him, like, how did your role get determined? And we kind of did, but he gave a more in-depth answer with uh, the GM files mm-hmm. show on the John Boy Media Network. Go check it out. And he said that Britain really wanted an inning. I think that's what he said. Do you remember, BBD? You edited it. He, he said, like, that all the relievers talked about how they wanted to do this. And Britain wanted an inning. He was like, I'd, I'd really like to just, like, be the eighth inning guy and know my role. Uh, yeah. And I thought, found that interesting that they ha- the players had that much say and like they t- communicate like it's an open forum. And I'm saying this in a good way. I like yeah. that. So I do think it's maybe up to Chad. Like, hey, Chad, would you like to be everyday eighth inning guy? Or Swing do you, man, or do you, do you care? 
Like, you know what I mean? So maybe that's that. I would hope that's how they've done it in the past. Chad has earned the right to like kind of have a say yeah. in how he's used until Britain's back. Six postseason games for Justin Wilson. 5.1 innings, one earned run. A Who? 169 ERA. When? Who? What team? Uh, so he was with Pittsburgh in 2013-2014. Gross. The Yankees in 2015, the wild card game against Houston, pitched 1.1 1. 1 shutty. Hell yeah. How about that? So he's ready. And then with the Cubs in 17 and 18. So, um. Yeah, okay. Here's your Justin Wilson spin if if you're getting into old men. He hasn't he hasn't given up a playoff run since twenty thirteen. Lights out. Neither has Brett, so he's coming for you. Brett. Do we have an over under on Justin Wilson? We do. Okay. Justin Wilson over under nineteen and a half appearances in the eighth inning or later. Hmm. Max <laughs> Manis. Under. <laughs> But he could rack some up in non-close games, yeah. like a four-run four, four yeah. run game, five-run yeah, game. You enter a game and you know yeah. Chad's not available. Yeah, I'll say over. Long year. Throw bullets. How many was it? 19? Eighth inning. And a half. And a half. <sighs> it's not eighth inning or later. Eighth it's inning or later. Ah. Oh. So 2019, Who? how many... Couple extra innings. In twenty games. in twenty in twenty nineteen he had sixteen in the eighth inning. Or later. Or later. That's bullshit. That's the question. Okay, well then it was I mean it's a lot more, obviously. It's sixteen plus eight. Nobody can do that. I think it's twenty four. Get out of here, STEM nerds. STEM, I hate you. And it's like the same same exact thing the next year? His baseball projection sucks to 41% reliability and all the numbers are like bad. So it's like Is there a reliever that's projected to do good on baseball reference? I don't think so. I mean according to like his past history uh, as a reliever, it's a way over. It's way over. Well, what he's projected for two saves, so just as many as Montgomery. He might. He might actually. That might be he the might most that might be the most accurate part. <laughs> yeah. That might be what's Boosting that 41%. No, I think baseball reference. I'm excited to see his pitch mix because I'm a little confused by it. He, uh, yeah, I have him as a quick either big time love or big time hate. If his two fastballs are getting hit, people are going to say, what, this guy doesn't have an off speed pitch? If he comes in, works quick, and gets out, people are going to, I love veteran. Knows guy how to pitch. Knows how to get it done. I have this, him walk this guy just knows how to get it done. Every reliever has horrible projections. I just did Hater and Williams. Yeah. Williams is at a 27% reliability because they gave him a 3.57 ER. What's Chapman's? Psych! We'll get to that when we get oh. to that. We ha- definitely did Chapman. We did Chapman already? Yeah. It was a 3.72 ERA, 41% reliability. Oh, yeah, so, I yeah, remember we bro, were mad at that. Wilson kind of walking a lot of people, which uh, he's kind of done a lot of, so... Well, he's going to be keep done with eye, that now. Keep an eye on people being annoyed if he walks a guy. Remember when I said the other day that I don't remember anything we say on these things? Yes. Well, I forgot we did Chapman all Chappy together. Chappy Roots. Thanks, guys. Let's believe in you. Come October, dog. Yes. Yes. That's kind of what matters. Another. Let's do another teammate finder real quick. I got like 10 seconds. Come on, refresh. Addison Volquez. Reds and Pirates. Fun contract stuff we didn't do on this, but we'll check out that episode. Uh, I don't have another.